All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So this is the review of the Ninja Bat, 300 watt output, and uh, this thing is pretty remarkable. Let's show you some of the features. First of all, I want to be clear on something. This is the only input. This is where you charge it, either from a wall outlet, cigarette lighter, or your solar panels. This is it, not this. There's other reviews online that is inaccurate. This is output. These are outputs. These are outputs. These are outputs. This is the input. One thing you're probably asking already is, can I charge my phone while I'm charging the Ninja Bat? Yes, it has pass-through charging. That is huge. Let's light up the display. There it shows we have 72% charge on the left. We're bringing in zero watts because it's not currently plugged into any device. One other thing I noticed, these buttons feel great. They're very substantial. You know, the, uh, the others on the market, I've, t I've touched the buttons and they're kind of wiggly and loose. These are very tight and firm. It's got your 60-watt uh, USB-C connector, two uh, USB-As. These are output. And I wondered at first, why do they have so many of these DC outputs with the round style? And I know why. CPAPs. There's a lot of people out there on CPAPs that need something that will get you through the night. This will get you 10 hours for your CPAP. And there's three outlets here. Outputs. DC round 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter DC connector. This is your regular 110 outlet, like you would have in the wall of your home. Maximum 300 watts output. I think you could run a power drill on that. 300 watts output. That's uh, more than I was expecting. And here's your cigarette lighter plug, also known as your 12-volt port. It's got a nice little rubber cover there to keep dust out. And if you need two, just get a splitter and put there. Always keep that plugged in when you're out camping to keep the dust out of it. Okay, around on the side you have a light, three stages. There's low, medium, and high out here in the sun. Really can't tell, but at night it's wonderful. Let's shut that back off. Here's your specs on the back. 26 amp hour. And it only weighs six pounds. It's incredible. It's lithium ion. You have at least 1,000 cycles on it. Could be more. But if you deep cycle it, you'll get at least 1,000 cycles. On this side is the fan, which is automatic. It runs when it needs to. You don't worry about that. So here's a, a for instance. So you just uh, push your display and then plug your phone in wherever you want and then push that button because that turns this panel on, this button turns this panel on, and this button turns this panel on. You have to remember to push the button before anything's going to happen for each column. And on this port you have to push this button to initiate the power. Okay. And there will be a display here that shows when you have initiated the column. See, look at this. See, that goes away. Then it comes back when it's on. There, it's off. So this is off now. Now it's back on. Plug your device in, charge away. The display will show you the charge you have and the amount of hours you have left of use. It's a great uh, thing to know in the real world so I love the display shows you what you're bringing in when you're charging currently zero shows you what you're putting out currently nothing alright 
let's plug an Android phone in. Okay, I'm currently charging this phone that I'm videoing with. We have a 72% charge on the Ninja Bat, 25 hours of use if we currently do what we're doing with the charging. Oh, 29 hours. We're at 7 watts, 8 watts bringing into the phone from the Ninja Bat. Pretty clear and concise. All right, let's do something even cooler. Let's plug fan in. Works like a charm. Pulling six watts to run this little fan. I could do it for 34 hours. Currently with a 72% charge. Now that's knowledge you need to know. Because this is what I'm going to be using this battery for more than anything. In the summer, uh, when it's scorching hot, put the little battery in the fan next to me and be cool as a cucumber. Before we wrap it up here, I'd also like to mention something very important. Pure sine wave inverter on the two uh, outlets on the left. That's very important for your delicate electronics. There's so many ways to charge this Ninja Bat. If you don't want to uh, plug it into a wall outlet or plug it into your cigarette ladder while you're driving or pull out your portable solar panels, this is what I'm doing now just to see if it works, and it does. This is the cable that comes with it. It's a 5.5 uh, by 2.1 millimeter DC round connector. On this end, on this end is your regular cigarette lighter plug, right? So I've got it plugged into a port that comes off my house batteries. My house batteries are currently being charged by the solar on the roof of the van. And I'm charging the Ninja battery from the house batteries. It's just another way you can do it. Out of the so many ways you can charge this thing. So right now I'm charging at 44 watts. I'm 70% charged and it will take two hours to charge at this rate. It's just, you know, in case you don't want to take the time to pull out your solar panels. Let's say you got to go in and do some shopping and you don't want to be driving and you've already got solar on the roof and you already got house batteries you can just charge right off of that so you know you could lock the van up lock it up go do your shopping you don't have to worry about your portable solar panels being left out it's just another way to charge this ninja battery so i think we have covered the ninja bat 300 in great detail. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Be well and smash that bell.